of welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie back at it again with video. Guys, today I wanted to film a much needed video, something that I think will help a lot of people. As I've mentioned before, I want my channel to be a safe space for a topic such as mental health. Um, I believe that it is a very important issue that not a lot of people talk about. So I wanted to make a video about how to cope with the uncertainty of what's going on in our world. As you all know, the pandemic of the coronavirus is a universal epidemic and it's scary, it's frightening, it's terrifying how uncertain these times are. A lot of us are unemployed, a lot of us are quarantined, stuck at home with nothing to do. And I don't know about you, but if I'm home all day and I have this feeling of uncertainty, a feeling that I don't know what's going to happen to my future, I don't know what's going on at all, feelings of hopelessness, I start to get sad. And sometimes that sadness can turn into depression, anxiety, or anything else, and that's not a way to live. If we're stuck at home, quarantined, we should still remain positive, we should still go about our daily routine and try to be as productive as we can possibly be. Most of us out there, we need human interaction. We need to be able to go outside, watch a movie, take a walk in the park, go to the gym, and a lot of that has been taken away from us. So I started brainstorming a couple of things to do that would help you not become depressed. Literally, how to not become depressed during this time of quarantine. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the red button down below for more cool content coming up soon. So I think that the most important thing one can have during this time of quarantine is a peace of mind. Practicing a state of mindfulness is something that's always helped me. And with that, I mean breathe. Being able to be alone and be happy. Being able to be comfortable in your own space and not needing someone's words to make you feel better about yourself. Mindfulness means breathing and being present in the moment with no worry. Some ways that you can practice this mindfulness obviously is to meditate or do yoga. Um, I'm not going to preach this. I don't want to sit here and be fake and say I do yoga and meditate. I honestly have not mastered that. My mind just runs a little bit too much but I do want to try that. Um, I will start to try yoga. Meditation is great if you want to sort of get out of your head for a moment and just be in the present. It's a proven fact that meditation helps people focus on a particular object or a particular concept that helps them bring their mind to a state of mindfulness. I'm not going to preach that I know how to meditate because I've tried so many times and unfortunately I have not mastered it, but I know that it helps a lot of my friends that do meditate, so I really recommend everyone to try that. That's definitely something that I want to try as well. An app that's great for relieving stress and anxiety, relieving tension, is an app called Headspace. I'm sure all of you are familiar with it. Headspace is an app that has training courses and narratives where someone is sort of guiding you along a meditation. There are hundreds of guided meditations on Headspace from stress, anxiety, coping with changes in your life, restlessness. There are meditations that focus on physical activity, productivity, and just coping with everyday drama that happens in anyone's life. They also have on-the-go meditation, so if you're on the go in a car, on a train, on a bus, instead of listening to music, try to listen to some of the meditations on Headspace. There is an annual subscription or a week subscription, I'm, I believe, but it's free for 12 days. There's a 12-day free trial, so go ahead and just try it out. See if you guys like it, if it helps out anyway. I do believe that if you listen to one of these in the morning, your day just becomes more productive. It's also so important to go outside. Go outside for fresh air. If you go in your backyard or in your front yard, you're not going to catch the virus. But go outside, go for a walk. Go for a walk with your mom or dad. Go take your dog out for a walk. Go for a jog, go for a run, try to release endorphins because that will really put your mind at ease. Whenever I'm feeling sad, I just go outside and I feel the sun on my face. And for some reason, just the vitamin D on my face makes me feel so much happier. It is proven that sun just makes you happy. So if you do feel like you're in a slump and you are stuck in a rut and you don't know what to do, just go outside and breathe. Number two, number two. So the second tip I have for not getting depressed during quarantine is exercising. I try to at least work out or do a quick workout once every day in my room. 
Not gonna lie, I barely went to the gym before because of my busy schedule. I do work almost 50 hours a week and I did go to school. So I barely had time to go to the gym. I don't know if that's an excuse, but the free time I had, I did not want to go to the gym. I wanted to stay home. So I've been doing at-home workouts a lot for a long time. I find that they're so much fun to do. You just pump your music out loud, just work out in your room. You could wear whatever you want. No one's gonna look at you weird. I've always been self-conscious going to the gym, but working out in my room is great. If you have a yoga mat, if you have dumbbells, weights, endurance belt, then I recommend that you use them. Um, if you don't have equipment, that's totally fine too. Just do whatever workout you feel most comfortable with at home. There's also this great app that my colleague actually told me about called the Nike Training Club app. It's a great app if you are going to focus on working out at home. They have a numerous amount of workout videos for each area of the body on the app and you can do it whenever you want. Nike Training Club promotes itself. They market themselves as your ultimate personal trainer and I think that's great because people spend so much money on hiring a personal trainer um, and I think that's great. If I was wanting, I would definitely have a personal trainer come over and kick my ass. But if you're on a budget and you just want to work out on your own, then I really recommend this app. They have trainers for every type of exercise, every any type of drill you can imagine. They have cardio, um, strength endurance, whatever it is, um, workouts that focus on losing weight, building muscle, toning up. Whatever you can name, they have all those workouts. And the best thing about it is you can do it at any time of the day and every month. They have workouts that involve equipment and workouts that don't involve equipment. They have advanced workouts, beginner and intermediate workouts. They have female and male trainers, whoever you feel most comfortable with. And no, this video is obviously not sponsored by that app, but I really do think it is a efficient app if you are trying to work out at home. Again, I also recommend going for a run outside, going for a jog outside, or just going for a walk. It is starting to get warmer in New York, and I have been yearning to just go outside for a nice run with my music and just, just run and release those endorphins. Ride a bike. Fun fact, I don't know how to ride a bike, but I'm really wishing I did because it's such a great time to just release your mind and go on a bike ride and just feel good because there's really nothing else to do. On that note, I also recommend going for a drive. Keep your windows closed obviously um, but just go out for a drive I love driving putting the music up and just letting my mind wander so if you don't know how to ride a bike I would recommend going for a drive even though that's not really exercise it's just really important to release those endorphins just laying in bed and sitting on a sofa watching TV all day it could really get you into a fun so it's really important just to keep moving and remain active Your metal this. The third tip that I have for maintaining your sanity during quarantine is rewarding yourself. By rewarding yourself, I mean rewarding yourself with good food. And by good food, I mean delicious food. But I also mean food that have the right nutrients and minerals that your body needs to absorb during this time. It's so easy to just get in a funk and eat all the snacks and junk food that's in your house and just feel gross about yourself. But it is important to eat healthy and remain on your regular routine during this time. By rewarding yourself, I also mean order that burger and fries. Bake those cookies, order that cheesecake you wanted from Cheesecake Factory. It is so important to reward yourself and not deprive yourself of whatever you want. Of course, everything should be in moderation, but I do believe it's important not to be so hard on yourself during these times. I think that right after a workout, it's important to have a good nutritious meal or even before a workout. If you have a kitchen in your house, if you have groceries, I really recommend experimenting with a lot of fruits and vegetables, a lot of recipes, spices. You don't usually have time to cook at home and now is a great time because there's nothing to do, you're stuck at home and you probably have a kitchen. I love cooking, I love experimenting and just being salt bay and throwing in ingredients into a pot and just seeing what comes alive. So I really recommend that you guys do that, try to use fresh ingredients instead of just cooking ramen all the time, which, not gonna lie, I of doing that. It's so important to just keep your body healthy and also hydrate, 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 hydrate. It's so easy to not drink water at home because you don't really think about drinking water at home. 
I don't know, but when I'm at work, I constantly am drinking water. When I'm at home, for some reason, I just don't. So it's important just to get like a big water bottle. I have this really cute water bottle from Amazon that I got a long time ago that I always keep at home. I never bring it with me anywhere because I know I'm gonna lose it, but I'll link it down below. It's this cute water bottle here, and it just has motivational quotes on every measure of the bottle, and it just tells you to keep going. Keep going throughout your day, whether it be about drinking water or just um, facing every hurdle in your day. It's a great water bottle to have. I'll link it down below. It was so cheap. And by rewarding yourself, something that I do a lot is if I've been eating healthy all week or if I've been saving money, I like to order takeout once in a while. I've been guilty of ordering takeout almost every day lately, not going to lie, but I'm really trying to cut that down. Um, but I love trying new foods. I'm sort of a foodie. I love trying exotic new foods like different cultures. I love Thai food, Chinese food, Korean, Italian. Mexican, Filipino, you name it, I will try it. I really love Grubhub. There are some coupon codes on Grubhub if you never order from there. Um, I'll have some coupon codes listed down below. You get like $15 off your first order. Um, and I think it's a great app. You can see the local restaurants that deliver to you or offer takeout and you could try new things, new cuisines and that really it for me. It keeps me on the tip of my toes. It's sort of a reward for me if I did a good job on my homework, on a video, if I worked out, it's sort of a reward I give myself. And another positive aspect of that is that you're supporting local businesses. Right now businesses are really struggling because they can't remain open due to the government shutdown. A lot of businesses are losing money. They are counting on delivery orders and takeout orders just to remain open. So I think it's great to, to support local businesses. Try to order from local restaurants rather than McDonald's. Burger King, who's a large corporation, but I'm going to stay in business anyway. The fourth tip I have for remaining sane, spring cleaning. Today is what? Today's April 11th, I believe. It's spring, guys. And yes, we can't go outside and do what we usually want to do during this warmer weather, but it is the time to go through your closet and throw out, or better yet, donate clothes, shoes, jewelry, makeup, anything that you're not going to wear anymore. Okay, time to get cracking. Hey guys. If you have expired makeup, definitely throw it out, but that's literally what I did a week ago is I just went through all my clothes and a lot of Goodwills and thrift stores are closed due to COVID, but there are bins um, near like, grocery stores, at least in my town, where you can just drop, drop off some clothes. I just did that a week ago and I feel so great about myself. I just have so much more room in my closet. Everything's organized. It's not hard for me to get dressed in the morning because everything is just there and I know what I have. And it's also great knowing that I donated something to people who might need these clothes. Also, if you're a makeup order like me, I really recommend you go through all your makeup. Think about when was the last time you used this. Most likely, if you didn't use this in the past month, you're not going to use it and it's probably expired. Please throw it up. <laughs> I also love cleaning. I love Lysol wipe. I love sex. I love scrubbing. My room gets really dusty really easily and I always keep my makeup there and I hate dust. So I'm constantly like scrubbing everything and for some reason that makes me happy because being in a clean Fresh smelling setting just makes me really happy. So that's something that I've been doing that keeps me sane. Also, I've really been into interior decorating. I did redecorate my vanity room and I want to redecorate my bedroom as well. So I know stores are closed now, but if you ever want to go on Wayfair.com, they have affordable furniture, affordable interior design. They have affordable decorations, pillows, rugs, throws, little accents that you can throw into your bedroom just to make it a more feasible setting. I recently just um, totally rearranged all the furniture in my room and I love it. I love just chilling in my room, watching a movie at night with my candles and my incense and my little night light and a glass of wine. It's just so relaxing. It's so amazing. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually being handy with this screwdriver. Okay, I got this. I got this. Oh yeah, I think I got it. Oh! <gasps> yeah boy okay it's not completely done yet but basically i got rid of the ugly dresser and i cleaned my mirror i'm in the middle of organizing my makeup got the little flowers there and this is like my headboard and that that relates to tip number five self-care <laughs> Self-care probably goes into every tip I've talked about, related into every tip. Self-care is just caring about yourself, caring about your well-being, which 
includes exercise and eating right, but it also includes personal hygiene. If you're a girl like me, uh, try to do your nails. I did not try to do my nails because they're so difficult and I don't know how to do nails. I know that if I try, I'm gonna mess them up, but if you're a girl that knows how to do nails, I recommend you do your nails, do a face mask on every day, take a bubble bath, do a hair mask, paint your toes, massage yourself or get someone else to give you a massage, massage your feet. I don't know what you do to make yourself feel clean, but just do it. Shave every inch of hair on your body, even if you're not getting any. Just shave because that makes you feel amazing. Like candles, like incense, just really create that aroma of peacefulness that can really help you get your mind to a state of calm. My sixth tip is just relax. Watch Netflix, watch Hulu, watch movies. Um, I really recommend watching documentaries during this time just so your brain doesn't turn into mush and you're actually learning new information. I also really recommend reading books. At least try to read a book a week. Try to read news articles. But really try not to focus too much on the COVID news because I realize that the more news you watch on the the more paranoid and just freaked out you will be. And honestly, just wash your hands, stay at home. If you feel sick, self-quarantine. Reading the news is not going to help with your state of mind, with your peace of mind. Watch any other type of news besides COVID news. Um, watch documentaries. I will list a few documentaries some below that I really enjoy on Netflix. Listen to music. If you are not into a certain genre of music, try to get into it. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But try and you try to discover who you are. Try to discover your likes and your dislikes. Try to take this time to discover who you are, what you want, what you think your meaning of life is. I know that sounds so cheesy. But find out what the meaning of life is but um, I think it's just so important to have a purpose that's something that keeps me going and it sounds cheesy and you might be like Nadia what do you mean to find a purpose my purpose is to live but it's important to stick by a code of ethics it's important to have morals to truly understand who you are as a person <laughs> no, this is a lot Ooh, another tip is drink tea. That keeps you calm. It keeps you relaxed. Depending on what tea you drink, I really recommend green tea or chamomile tea. And it really drains out your body. You go to the bathroom and it just feels good. I know that these tips are sort of a given, but there are a lot of resources out there that not many people know about that could really help coping with a lot of stressors and trigger triggers in our lives. And I hope that this video gave you some value, gave you some ray of positivity. If you are dealing with a lot of stress, feel free to comment down below, message me on Instagram. If you need someone to talk to, I am here. Um, and just know that things could be worse and things will get better. We just gotta have hope, have faith, remain positive, and just go about our daily routine. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Even if I'm getting just 10, 20, 30 views, I don't care. It's nice to know that there are people there listening to what I have to say, that have, that find some kind of value in what I have to say. My purpose is to help people. I feel like I'm doing that by making these videos and I hope that you guys appreciate that as well. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you are healthy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.